Ah, this is why I like League of Legends. It's got Ushkushi girls. Ushkushi! Uh, well, this one isn't very Ushkushi, but you know what? She's still serviceable. Um... No, seriously, this is why I play League of Legends and not Dota. Like, I don't play these games competitively. And, of course, I'm going to play the game that has uh, more beautiful characters. Characters that look good. Why is it a Romanian, though? Like, why why do they assume that I want Romanian? Like, I, I speak English like normal people. So, uh, just please, give me give me the website in English. Why, why did it put me on the main page just for changing the language? Ugh. Whatever. So, um, yeah, I mean, one of the cool things about League of Legends is uh, the lore. I know a lot of people don't care about it. You know, a lot of people just want to play like that. But uh, if you start reading the lore, there's so much in there. And it's done in such a good way. Like, you, you have these different regions, and some of them are filled with magic. Other of them are filled with science. And literally everything makes sense. Like, you can have zombie pirate adventures, like Pirates of the Caribbean style. Uh, and then you can also have, like, some high fantasy, high tech adventures. And, and it's really cool. Uh, I should make more lore videos. Yeah, so three hours ago they released, like, this chick, which is, um, I guess, like, part magic, part riding a horse. I don't know, like, part magic, part technology. This is really cool. I dig it. So let's see if we can find out what she actually does. Um, I want to I wanna see her game style first, and then I'm going to read the, the lore. Alright, abilities rundown. This should be the one. Okay, so... Yeah, you, you walk around on a horse. Like, how bourgeois is that? Huh? Like this, if this is not part of the aristocracy, I don't know what is. So she's got like a very slow attack, like Nautilus. Boom. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of like it. I mean, um, you, you do feel the impact of that. It's really good. So she gets uh, to attack slow, and she steals the target's armor and magic resist. Wow, that's that's cancerous, isn't it? Ah, right, let's see her Q, shattering strike. She steps forward with her lance, breaking any shields. And damaging any enemy hit. I mean, there are some champions that really rely on shield. And this is such a hard counter. She's just going to completely BTFO a lot of champs. I, I, I genuinely think that she's going to get banned um, from many ranked games by the champions that benefit from shields. Like, you can see a Karma player just banning this champion outright. I mean, you know, like, if it was, like, a percentage of the shield, that would be good. But, like, all the shield? Yikes. Uh, and she can use E in order to heal the ally. So, she's going to be a support tank, I guess. Hold on, what the fuck? What is that? What the hell? That is so fucking cool. Okay, so um, she can only cast this when on the pony, and she jumps into the sky, transforms her mount into heavy armor, and she gains a huge shield, which lasts until destroyed or remounted. Upon landing, she knocks off all enemies around her. So this is a crowd control stuff. Oh my god, like she is going to be the cancer of bottom, isn't she? And then she can cast E, Attract and Repel, and Magnetic Storm during the transformation. I guess we're going to see what that is. Uh, and after the transformation, this ability changes to Mount Top. Uh, she can only cast Mount Top in armor form. She rushes forward and transforms her armor into a mount, gaining a burst of movement speed. During her next attack, she charges her target to deal bonus damage and flip them over her shoulder. Oh my god! I, I do not want to play against this. I mean, like, not only does she BTFO shields, uh, but it seems that she's got a, a healing ability and a lot of stun and crowd control. Yeah, I, I, I definitely don't see... Look at this nonsense. Oh god, this, I'm telling you this is going to be broken. Um, so, E, attract and repel. 
magnetically binds a piece of her armor to a target ally champion, granting them bonus armor and magic resist, and she can recast this spell to break the bind and stun all enemies around and between her and her bound ally. So, so okay, like let's say you got a Nocturne or something, uh, she can put this on the AD carry, Nocturne jumps on the AD carry and boom, she just stuns Nocturne. All right, look at this. My God. You know, you know what, what, what sound is this? Like, let, let, listen to this. Listen to this. It's the sound of a broken champion. This, this, this is how broken she is. Look. Let's see the ultimate. I mean, she's got a powerful kit. I hope the ultimate isn't that wow. Uh, uh, erupts in magnetic fury, yanking nearby enemies towards her. She then creates a gravitational field around her, pulling nearby enemies in for a few seconds. Ah, get the fuck out. This is just... You're taking the piss now. Look at this. Well, so long, Skarner. You know, you're being replaced. Diversity lady is here to replace Skarner. Um, she looks uh, really powerful. I mean, you know, it depends like how her ability scale and all that. But uh, her kit is just amazing. She looks really fun to play. Uh, she looks like an absolute cancer to play against. I don't know if uh, she's going to be played top. Because, like, her E requires a, an ally champion next to her. And, uh, I mean, maybe you can play her jungle. Yeah, I, I think you could possibly. I, it depends on, um, you know, her survivability. Maybe you can force her in the jungle. Uh, I don't know if she's intended to be played like that. But I can definitely see it. Uh, especially like you're going top, you're giving armor and magic resist to, to the top champion and you're doing all those shenanigans, you can tower dive, pull the enemy out of the tower. Yeah, uh, but I, I definitely think she's intended to be support. And um, I guess uh, they, they want people to play support more, so they're introducing this fun champion, but I think this is a little bit too fun. Uh, so what's going to happen is that uh, she's probably going to get banned a lot. I, I definitely see that. Um, I mean, again, you, you play a character with shield, you know, you play Lulu, or uh, you play uh, Karma, and why why would you want the enemy to, to just have an ability that just goes no when it comes to your shield? Yeah, let me know what you think. I, I'm a fan of League of Legends. I might cover some of the lore a little bit more, you know, than once every month or so. Um, I, I kind of like the transformation, though, like when she gets out of the horse and just starts beating people up. That's, that's really fun.